how's it going everybody for today's video we're going to be doing a carlos correa team affinity debut now one of the reasons why i want to show off this card is because he is a free card to get and you could get him in a relatively timely matter probably for most people i want to say within two hours doing showdown especially if you need to go down the route of making it easier on yourself instead of skipping to the end he's got 76 contact on right 99 contact versus left 95 power versus right as a shortstop 75 power versus left 67 vision with 81 fielding 97 arm a absolute cannon an absolute cannon 85 accuracy so again when it comes to the throwing meter you don't have to worry about that too much the one downside to him is he isn't super quick but he does have 63 speed with that being said in right field we're going to be rocking with mike trout mickey mantle in center joe adele in left gary harry Sheffield over at third carlos correa obviously at short another shortstop but because his fielding is buns he's going to be over at second big meat pete still has to be in the lineup still way way too good and behind the dish craig biggio if you guys are looking for more daily ammo with the show content and gameplay tips and tricks go ahead and hit that subscribe button be sure to turn on those notifications as well also if you're unaware of my socials i have a twitter i have an instagram i also have a twitch we live stream about four to five times a week on there those will be in the link in the description down below and also for those of you who have already used todd health and let me know in that comment section is he worth trying obviously on the higher difficulties feel like probably yes as the pcis get smaller you're gonna want more contact sacrifice a little bit of power he's got a good swing like lindor does you should still be just hitting tanks just fine as a little heads up our second video today will be about michael kopech his 102 outlier gas fun card to use and i figured out a way to control these pitchers who may not have the best control i almost forgot to set our lineup so the way we're gonna actually do this is gonna be a little bit different i want craig biggio leading things off he's come alive we're gonna go mickey mantle as the cleanup behind mike trout and then we're gonna go get harry Sheffield in the five spot then Big Meat Pete, Joe Waddell all the way in the seventh spot. Glaber Torres hitting eighth. I like the way that stacks up better. Also giving Correa a true chance to show off his offensive capabilities. We actually had to wait a decent amount of time before we finally got our opponent. Our opponent for today is going to be Cold Buckets. He's going to have DeGrom on the mound. So there's going to be some gas being thrown in. He's got Acuna, Mickey McBuckets, Josh Bell. He's got a lot of the team affinity cards, which again, Budget Beast will be returning tomorrow. We will be streaming tonight probably around 7 8 pacific standard time streaming us grinding the budget beast account getting those team affinities so again if you want to check that out the link will be in the description down below to my twitch channel our opponent is 36 and 10 we are the away team playing in atlanta let's try and show off korea get a dub as well biggio is probably not going to get a base hit he is not apparently we just missed that Degrom taking a base hit away from us right off the middle look how small these pcis are what i am wondering because these pcis have gotten really small are we on hall of fame or are we on legend 3-0 with korea we are going to take all the way we're just going to take a pitch see what he brings he's going to bring in a fastball down the middle that means next 3-0 back green lights and on the full count we end up drawing ball four so we don't get to see what he could do but mike trout the man on Mike Trout got a two seam inside. Dude, that is a dirty pitch. That two seam's got a lot of movement this year, and the ball is definitely jumping. And this actually may be legend. Mickey Mantle, that should be a base hit up the middle, but we're not going to be able to advance our runner from first over to third. We're all over it. Got a good okay, but with two men on, Gary Harry Sheffield. Gary Sheffield. We keep getting ourselves in these two strike counts. I'm struggling to find the timing. We're either too late or way too early which is very interesting how we cannot get it down yet but we were knocking on the door we got two runners on let's hope at least he is struggling a little bit in the first just like we were in a one two three inning and a great first pitch by scherzer should be a good change up oh we're right down the middle and that is going to be roped definitely next batter he's seen some fastballs he looks like he's going to be late oh two we're bringing gas inside oh he's got the extended lead yeah do the slide step give him the gas up and in now nah, yeah see it wasn't just us with the timing something is definitely a little bit different this could be both our first games on legend online the changeup breaks his back gary sheffield you got all day 43 speed two down changeups out here breaking bass sliders looking dirty come on that should be a good slider right, let's get the timing down yeah this this has to be legend look how small it is big meat pete yeah we'll take that slider we will beat this shift we're getting our timing down a little bit but again, I want to get some ball. I mean, he's just throwing dots. Even in the two strike counts, 
we are having to fight Joe Adele. My bad. We got to stop talking. On the full count, Joe Adele drives it. Tell me his right fielder isn't going to rob it off the wall. And we can't even. That is unfortunate. That is. At least we still are safe at third. Again, just like last year, though, the base running. They never know if it's off the wall or not. And that is at least cost me. I want to say at least 10 runs so far already this year. They never go. Okay, that, that was dirty. Labor is going to hit it high. But that is definitely not going to get the job done. The unfortunate thing is, too, pretty confident our nine spot is coming up right here. So, again, this is where that choke, that that base running blunder that the game, even though it's, like, well off the wall, they never want to go. It's costing us at least one. Max Scherzer. Oh, is he going deep on Legend? Get out, Bull. He's, he's in our second home run. Max Scherzer pitchers who going deep our first home run on legend in ranked seasons is by mad max an absolute titty rip in the left let's go all right never mind about that uh whole uh where that cost us at least one run max doing damage third leg craig liner right back up the middle base hit two out rally here she comes we're getting the timing down. We are reading the pitch. We just missed that. We did have our timing a little bit there off, but much better inning. We hit really well that inning. That gives me hope moving forward. Let's see, though, if our opponent will make his own adjustments as well. We're going to throw that fastball. Blow up! Oh, two. We've thrown two fastballs. He seems to be struggling with the timing. Let's go ahead and give him the gates again. Blow up! Yeah! We're going to play the mind game. Now he's got to think maybe he's going to go off speed. Maybe it's Maybelline. No, it's maybe another fastball dot. Yeah! Let's see if we could get him to chase some balls. We've been throwing a lot of pitches in the zone, and that is still going to be relatively near the zone. But he's gambling. He was caught gambling. Now let's bury the curveball in the dirt. Do not even put it near the zone. Because if his timing's there, this might be titty ripped. Ugh! No, 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 no. That's supposed to be a check swing. But it works. Mike Trout's so good, it works. Not how you necessarily want to start off the inning, but I'll take it. We got third leg Craig, and now we got big dick Mick. Did we get it? We just missed. We dropped our PCI just a hair too much. Routine fly ball to left. One down. Harry Sheffield is going to slice it. That is another double. We were just late all over it. But can we get him into second? Not a good animation in left, thankfully. So a stand-up double, second and third. One down. Big meat pee time. All right. That, we got the runners on again. We're knocking. Joe Adele. It says you're 0 for 1. You hit the double off the wall. How the hell does that happen? Joe Adele goes deep. Making up for it. Perfect, perfect. We got a huge oopsie right down the middle. 114, 5 to 0. Big Dick Joe. That a boy. That's why he's on this team. Future Angel Mike Trout 2.0. Yikes. Absolute yikes after that. Yikes. We're going to challenge him. I feel like at some point he's just going to gamble the fastball and then get it and then drive it. Honestly, right there, though, we did jam him. That is definitely going to be a late swing, but it is going to be his first hit of the game. Men on first, a double play, still well in order. All right, so he's already taking out DeGrom. He gave up five. And then another weak hit. Can we get him out at second, though? Come on, we don't need the weak hits to start now. Not now, please. We are making him nervous. We're making him swing at a lot of stuff. He can at least give me the check swing. Oh, this is going to be a fun inning. My man loves to lead off. We're going to get some back picks going. Yeah! All right, Mr. McBuckets. If you if you get that extended lead again, I promise you I'm back picking you. Who's on second, though? It doesn't really tell me how much speed is over there. And he's not doing it anymore, of course. He knows. He knows we're paying attention for it. Oh, yeah. Dot City. We're going to go cutter about no high. I know he's going to be aggressive. Yeah! My good slider. Perfect pitch. Executed perfectly. We get a weak grounder. Pete Alonso doesn't look lost. We get ourselves out of that jam. The two weak hits don't come back to haunt us. Let's go ahead and extend our lead. Again, we have to pay a lot of attention on this difficulty. The ball really does zoom. And the just the movement is insane. Look at the look at the PCI. Oh, Max Scherzer is trying to help himself. Max Scherzer, might, he deserves MVP. If he goes scoreless with the tank, he, he, he's earned it. Craig, the third leg, gets a change up over the heart of the plate. We're going to drive it into the gap. Should easily be a stand-up double, and that's what it's going to be. 
or is that gonna be a base hit up the middle we overextended our pci had the timing it was all there but again overextended our pci we're on top two down and mike trout got a pitch to hit too are we gonna get a beautiful animation from the shortstop he is he's gonna be able to throw us out across the diamond there is a clear speed differential for only five miles per hour it feels like you got so much more time against glavin than he did against the grom realistically now i'm curious maybe we should bring out kopech now we're not gonna do it this game we're gonna throw a dot though absolute dot oh two there's a mistake and that is gonna be hit up the middle but there is a shift that routine ground ball is gonna lead us over to out number one two one get me uh get me over change and we get a weak liner he was way out front, but Big Me Pete has been amazing defensively, except for one time, which is burned and ingrained into my mind, where he just almost laid the ball for no reason when it was hit five miles per hour, but I'll take it. Great play by Pete. Now, let's see if he's going to be aggressive. He was still late, so maybe he's going to try and speed everything up. The process. Yeah. Big Dick Mick. Yeah. Even in his debut video, he was so good in his debut video, he did well. And now, even though we're outside of it, he continues to do well. No, 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 no. That had dirty movement. Dirty movement. Full count. We're stealing. I trust myself to make contact here. And we're going to avoid the double play. Can we go first to third? We're going to push it. And we are easily going to do that. Good squared up grounder by Harry Sheffield. Here we go. We're knocking on the door yet again. Big Meat Pete. I I'm going to laugh. If we, after we win this game, and it ends up being like he was only rated 800 which would mean this game's on Hall of Fame. I'm gonna feel embarrassed. Joe Adele, please do it again. Joe, oh my God. Joe's on a mission. Now granted, there's another big oopsie. Oh, we sat back way too long on that changeup. You see, even here, we are striking out Scherzer. One for two, an absolute booty blast. Can he get Bo Cheeks into it again? At least my man's just hitting the ball hard. You know what? As a pitcher, I will take that. I will take that. One, two. We're going to try and bury the curveball again. Last time he hung it, even on perfect stuff. Can we do it? Get him to swing and miss. We're not going to tag him. We're going to throw it over to first. Yeah. Going to go back to Old Faithful. Curveball in the dirt. Yeah. So Glavin is going to continue to hit. Well, no, it can't be an all Atlanta Braves team because he did have DeGrom to start everything off. He just maybe he's got a soft spot in his heart. So the good ones are in, but it's not an all Atlanta Braves team. You already know we're challenging Glavin. He's going to make contact with it, but it is going to be a weak flat ball right behind second base. Another one, two, three inning. Scherzer is dealing. Two more runs. If we get those two runs, we could get ourselves a mercy. Craig, my man's third leg was missing on that one. Routine flat to left. Correa, did we get all of it? It is definitely not going to be it. Again, for somebody's debut. Am I shocked? At this point, am I shocked? Everyone else doing great. Debut player. Mike, tell me he got both cheeks into that one. That one is blasted. Good, good. We sat back on the dirty slider. Nine to zero. Of course, everybody else is showing up. Of course. Mickey Mantle got another great pitch to hit. We only score one this inning on an absolute blast. One, two, a good slide piece could easily take him out of his shoes. Good pitch. Yeah. So again, as I said in previous videos, if you can, get yourself a Max Scherzer. He's out here throwing dots. He's got the five pitch arsenal. I don't know what more you could want out of a starter, but this man, this man is it. Another weak contact. Gary Sheffield, please make the play. You got a hose. Two down. It is curveball burying time. Put it in the dirt. That is hanging on us. But Correa, that's at least, if he's not going to debut his offense, he can at least debut his defense. We have 12 hits through six. Still again, now we are one run away from the mercy. Harry Sheffield has been doing great. Harry Sheffield the other way. That's going to read good okay, isn't it? That is unfortunate, but it's still going to be off the wall. No, it's going to be gone. A good okay. Perfectly squared up. Tank. At least it's still gone. At least it's still gone. At least it's still gone. It is your time to shine a big meat pee. Got to wait. Beat the shift. We get a change up down the middle. Just late. Squared up. Beat this shift. Easy routine doubles all day. Man on second. Still again. Nobody out. No. No, we had a third home run with Joe. I missed it. Glaber, man, poor Glaber. Ever since we put him in the YouTube debuts and everything, if he does hit the ball hard, it is right at somebody. But he also is making a lot of weak contact. Scherzer, oh my God. 
Do you need more evidence to get Scherzer? The man, even when he's up at the plate, can do some damage. Scherzer is in the yellow. You already know what that means. You got to challenge Gallo. You got to bring the heat. Yeah. Actually, for those of you, I do wonder, have you guys liked Ryan Klesko? Do you feel like his swing is good? I mean, his stats were all right. He looks very much like a bench bat at this moment in time until we see a better card of him. But again, what is his swing like? One, two, bring straight heat again. This time, he's at least on it. That is going to be still, though, a routine fly ball to center. One out away from the seven inning mercy. First pitch to Albies. You already know. You already know what's up. We're giving up a tank. All right. Well, that's a little heartbreaking. Max Scherzer, you've done well. You were one out away from the mercy. And then you do that. My man's starting to hit you pretty well. Again, you're in the yellow. We're going to go ahead and take you out after this inning. Should have done it last inning because we are now at the top of our lineup. You know what? Also in this video, we got Eric Gagne. We're going to go ahead and debut him a little bit. Show him off. And I'm curious to see how good he is. He's got two innings of work. Craig, the third leg. That's ripped. Is it going to stay fair though? Damn. Craig, all right, may not be a double or maybe just miss tank, but it is still going to be an absolute titty rip in the right. Man on first, Correa, you are due. Correa, tell me that is, that is not gone. That is going to be hit high and deep to the warning track. The downside to this debut, usually you almost always exclusively see righties, but he's seen, I think, at least three at best against the lefty. So that's not necessarily in his best interest. Mike Trout, we're out front yet again. I understand that early. The okay bar, a little questionable, but two down. Mickey Mantle, that is going to be a titty rip right to him. All over that. So we were knocking on the door. We're hitting the ball hard. We're still piecing it up, but no cigar. And you know what? Like I said, Scherzer, your day is done. Gagne's coming in. Let's see how good my man's really is. Hopefully, Gagne's got good control because so far, not too hot. Two curveballs way the hell off. 1-1, one, one, we're going to go gas. That should be in a good spot, though. That is beautiful. 1-2, back foot slider located beautifully. Yeah! Although it wasn't back foot. It hung on us a little bit, but it gets the job done. Challenge, Glavin. Blow pop. Eric Gagne is brand new out of the pen. Seven pitches in and he's already yellow? Like, okay, game. Okay. How is he already yellow after seven pitches? How? 0-2, oh, bury the Vulcan change. He likes it. He loves it. Tag him. Tag him. Yeah. We just smoked one with Harry Sheffield right to the second baseman. Can Big Me Pete show up again? Okay, Pete's not showing up. Pete, Pete's lost. We did just miss that. Two down. My man's Joe Adele is two for four. Two tanks with six ribbies. He's carrying the team on his back, and we are green lighting a bit. Ah. All right, so now you see my point. I don't want to talk anymore while the pitch is coming in. That happens. We make big oopsies and miss the big oopsies. Bring the heat up and in. Oh, hey, Gagne. I don't know if it's because he's in the yellow. It was clearly the problem for Scherzer. The moment he entered the yellow, he started hitting him well. But again, if seven pitches is all I could get out of a reliever before they're tired, what do you want me to do? Like, it just... At that point, you should make it possible to put starters in the bullpen. What I mean by that is not being able to take them out of your starting rotation. I mean that you could actually put them in the pen. So just in case we're warming up our pitchers, we're going to be throwing the dirty 69 curves. I probably shouldn't go back to this pitch that he had a nuke on, but oh well. Full count. We got to go back to it. I'm going to float it, but it's okay. It is what it is. 69 dirty curve. He sat back, but it still gets the job done. One down. This is your last batter for sure. Just execute the slider. Hit a spot. Get a broken bat. You got to come up gunning though, baby. Your day is done. What are you doing? So we bring in Chapman to face Klesko. He's going to take him out, bring out Turner. But the reason why we're bringing out Chapman, he was struggling with the guys who threw straight cheddar. Okay. All right. Okay. He's late on the sliders. We got to go to the gas. See what's going to happen. Blow pop. My guess up in it. He's stealing. Get gunned that second, buddy. What are we doing over there? We're losing. We're going to find a way to blow this lead, apparently. We are losing. How is he not gunned? Slap the tag over there, dip. And again, we're already in the yellow. What is with this? Five pitches in, we were in the yellow. Five pitches in. Yeah. Do my relievers need to do pulls or something? Why Why are we this low? Go back to the slider. He checks one. Oh, oh. Okay, game. We're going to allow that to be. Okay. Dude, like you're really going to have to actually start using starters out of the pen. Six pitches and we're in the yellow. Six. It only took six and he's fresh. 
He is fresh and clean. He came... Nobody is low on energy, and they can only get six pitches. Like, this is just absolutely ridiculous. Well, I mean, look, everyone's full energy. If for some odd reason, Mariano doesn't get one out from our man's up here, Stanton, or whoever that was going to bring out, he's going to be in the yellow, too. It should be a slider. Ring him up. The man's been check swinging all inning, and he can't get a call. All right, check swing on this one, buddy. Yeah. So now the interesting part is going to be coming up. Was this on Legend or was it on Hall of Fame? Joe Waddell, though, player of the game, still two for five, two tanks, six ribbies. The man carried the team. Harry Sheffield, three for five, a home run, a double, one ribby. Mike Trout, two for five, a home run, a ribby. And Craig Biggio, the guys who didn't do too hot in their debuts, all went off. Let's go in and check it out. Let's see. We're exiting the game. If this wasn't legend difficulty, meaning he wasn't at least 900 rated, this will be interesting. Because, again, I just played legend before this. It felt very similar to it. It was legend. It was legend. Let's go. I knew it fell faster, but it wasn't too bad. From what I've been seeing on Twitter, it wasn't as bad as at least people were making it out to be. So to talk on it briefly, is it faster? Yes. Are the PCI smaller? Absolutely. Absolutely. Are they smaller? Yes. But I, I felt like I didn't have to, what I was seeing on Twitter where people were talking about where you have to sell out, where you have to like just gamble fast. Well, that's all you could do. I didn't feel like that. I felt like I had time to still sit back, especially when it was pitchers who were only throwing 95. I felt like I had time to sit back, read it. And I actually was out in front a lot against Glavin. That all being said, thank you guys for watching today's video. If you enjoyed today's content, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Y'all have a good day. Thank you.